These cabbage moths are trying me. I'm gonna bite on a few of these. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh man, they really, really sweet and warm when the sun has hit them. Cabbage moths are trying it. I'm not here for it, so. Where'd that bitch go? I really need to feed, but I'm not gonna do it. Oh, look at him. There's that baby. Uh huh. And then the other one, still in there, yeah. And he even got more flowers. But I'm, you know, I'm not messing with anything. I'm gonna fill this one up with water. No, no, no. Yeah, fill it up with water. And then I'm going to mulch the top for the winter. Red onions. They may be ready to pull, I don't know, next year. Probably gonna cut off a few more stalks though. Here's hazel. The leaves are a little stiff, but I really like the flavor. They're, they're a little bit, uh, just, just a touch sweeter than regular collards, I think. Okay, pull a few of these stalks. Pulled a few. Oh look, the bee found that flower. Whoa, no okay. Don't mistake me for sweet. Okay, I'm gonna come out and put some more mulch the top of this. I'm looking for, uh-uh, oh, okay. I was like, I'm looking for the tendril that it's attached to. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, no way, that's ready. So here's my starter table. None of these lettuce are doing anything. The spinach are even barely doing anything, but these on this end are. These on this, this end are happy. It's like so many things that aren't doing anything. But I'm gonna try it again. I'm gonna push some holes and then put some seeds in them. I'm gonna pull these for seeds for next year. This is the Tom Thumb. Here's my herb plant planter uh, not doing well actually the the garlic are doing well but nothing else oh and the opal in the middle maybe I need to put some food in there um, this is a uh, leftover from a this uh, not leftover this is a yellow uh, sweet mini pepper that I didn't have the guts to pull I kept saying I need to pull it before it starts flowering I didn't it started flowering so now um, I can't help but to keep a couple of the peppers. Here's my snow pea, only one of which germinated. Same thing happened on the other side, so I might try again. Maybe, maybe not. Hazel, doing very well. Even though the cabbage moths keep trying it. Here's Rika. I may go ahead and cut a couple of her younger peppers. Uh, to encourage the other ones to start ripening. Just share the blooms that she had have not popped still, I think. But yeah, when it gets cold, I'm gonna chop her down to probably mm, two, three feet. And then we're gonna start all over again next year. Hope we get fruit. My kahuna peas, I'm gonna cut this, this out. These uh, branches are getting heavy for the plant and we'll cut it off. Got to cut it. That's the only uh, big petal viola that made it. The rest aren't doing much of anything. Oh, here's Maureen. She's pretty happy back here and tucked away in the corner. She just likes minding her business and staying hydrated. <laughs> you know, as we all should do. Maureen here. I don't like the way her leaves are coming out, but, you know, she's who got the bag so I'm um, and I'm gonna try to overwinter her this will be my first time trying to overwinter moringa well kind of second because I try to grow one indoors but try, trying to entice it to continue to grow indoors is different from from overwintering this is my salad bed looking pitiful I think I'm just gonna dig a, a couple of troughs and just pour salad green seeds in it <laughs> 
in them because I'm so over trying with this bed when it comes to salad green leaves. It is time for a sugar beet green harvest. These are looking beautiful, but I need to go ahead and scalp those on down. Uh, this is Rika, Medea Rika. I already uh, harvested her first fruit and it was delicious. I let Mr. take a bite off the end last night. He didn't want to because he figured I was just on my gardening fuck shit, but I made him and he liked it. So, yes, it took me forever to finally find uh, authentic Rika. Uh, yeah, so I let that first one get ripe enough to get those seeds. It's always a dilemma, you know, should you cut the first one because then that and makes the plant, entices the plant to go and nourish the other upcome the next fruits or do you want to let the first one age for seeds so I let it age for seeds since this is the first time uh, my carrots are doing okay you know pretty good in this bed like I said this is the last time I'm going to be growing carrots in this bed it doesn't really have to be but it's going to be and it's hazel she got attacked so I'm looking for her to grow some new leaves. Sunny, she's on her last leg, but she has these delicious sweet fruits. Um, ready for me to polish off for the end of the season. Very, very delicious. Okay, this is a purple sprouting broccoli. It's, it's, it's really having a field day because it, it was cold the day before yesterday. And that's what she likes. She likes chili temps. Another snow pea. Again, this one told y'all it happened the same way over here. It didn't come up. Need to harvest probably this branch. And that's my daughter. That's my daughter. Hazel again over here, and Walona. Let me get a couple of these uh, onion stalks again. Ready for a big old shard harvest. And I'm also going to pull, these are definitely ready, no more question about it. Definitely ready to pull and dry for seeds. Almost already dry, huh? So I'm going to pull those today, right now. So carrots, I need to pull the moringa as well. So I'm going to pull the moringa and the bad pea plants to clean this bed up. This bed has a cucumber plant that needs to come up. I do have another seed pod here. I mean, uh, another seed, a fruit that I can use for seed. Seed, and I can eat this one, I think. Here's Esther. She just has her, there's probably about 40 tomatoes on that. Wait, 20, 30. I'm gonna say 30. This is Cher. I wanna finish harvesting her and pull her completely as well. Spider web covering that whole fruit bunch I think I'm gonna harvest this one early I see a little blush on it I think I'm gonna harvest early I see several of them showing out yeah I'm about to come and harvest one of these uh, Edgevarskis early I might even harvest a, a one or a Rika early I don't know if I want to, but I think I will. I'm trying to think about what I could make with it, and I might just do just that, make something with it. Let's get, let me get the harvest on. 